Welcome back. This is the latest update surrounding the North Korean crisis. North Korea has now declared the White House itself will be turned to ashes in a statement by the DPRK's state media. It also promised victory after claiming the US was planning to destroy the North Korean capital of Pyongyang, stating the days of the US are over and that North Korea will retaliate. Kim Jong-un continues to push for the development of a long-range ICBM capable of reaching the American mainland. Indeed, North Korea has said that the US needed to be hit with a preemptive nuclear strike so that it cannot come back to life again. This week, they accused the CIA of plotting the assassination of Kim Jong-un using a biochemical substance, saying this was nothing more than state-sponsored terrorism. Meanwhile, Japan is apparently considering acquiring Tomahawk cruise missiles after repeated threats from the DPRK. Within easy reach of a strike and with a potential warning time of only 10 minutes, Japan has told its citizens to have a solid building in mind that they could use in case of sudden attack. China demanded the removal of Commander Harry Harris, the US Pacific commander, in exchange for their support of strengthening North Korean sanctions. Commander Harris has called for the need to pressure both China and North Korea and is responsible for ordering the USS Carl Vinson carrier group to the region, as well as pushing for the development of the Terminal High Altitude Air Defence System, or THAAD, to be deployed in South Korea. China has argued that this threatens the regional balance and its national security. China has also ordered its troops along the border with North Korea to learn short Korean phrases to be used to challenge a possible influx of refugees should full-scale war break out. For its part, the South Korean people seem relatively calm, continuing life as normal, while their government and military keep a close eye on the current situation. Technically, the two countries of North and South Korea are still at war after the conflict in the 1950s ended in a truce and the people have become somewhat immune to the North's hostile rhetoric. In the US, two Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missiles with a range of around 8,000 miles were test-fired recently from a site in California. A possible show of force amid rising tensions, Colonel Moss, commander of the 30th Space Wing, said it was an important demonstration of our nation's nuclear capabilities. The Pentagon is also closely watching the relationship between North Korea and Iran. Both countries are part of the so-called Axis of Evil, and recent missile tests by Iran have been using missiles that seem to be a direct copy of North Korea's designs. Meanwhile, relations between Russia and the US have taken a turn for the worse. A bill received congressional approval last week, which is designed to put added pressure on shipping around North Korean trade routes. President Trump has not yet signed the bill, but if he does, this would mean US Navy ships would conduct compulsory inspections of all ships. This would include the Russian ports of Venino, Nakhodka and Vladivostok. Russia has said this is unthinkable and amounts to a declaration of war, stating that no US ship will enter our waters and that any unfriendly steps towards Russia or its allies will receive a similar response. As more players become involved and tensions remain high, the world is watching. Press that like button and subscribe for further updates as the crisis unfolds. Thanks for watching and take care of each other.